This video is about attaching Tapcon concrete screws to bricks. You can use Tapcons to install things like straps, shelf brackets, furring strips, ledger boards, pictures, and even TVs. What we're going to be using is a hammer drill of some kind. You can use a cordless like this one that has the hammer setting. I don't know if you can see that. Or you can use a corded one which I'm going to be using because it has a little bit more power. And today what we're going to do is drill into the brick which is extremely dense. A little different than drilling into hollow block or other kind of concrete. I'll show you other tools and materials that we're going to use. So let's get started. Okay, here's some of the tools and materials you'll need to put tap cons in the brick. You'll need the tap con fasteners, whichever ones you're going to be using. You'll need whatever hardware you're attaching to the brick. You'll need masonry bits, the correct size masonry bits for each bolt. You'll need some kind of hammer drill. This particular one is a cordless Milwaukee hammer drill and regular drill and driver combo. I'm actually going to be using my corded one because it's faster. I'm going to use a cordless one on some kind of concrete. It's not really that difficult, but in brick is extremely dense. You might want to use something more powerful. A level if you're going to put up shelving. Personal protective gear. You could use the little um, earplugs. Face mask for a lot of dust. You don't want to breathe in that brick dust and something for your eyes. Also something to blow out the dust from the, the hole because we're not going to be going all the way through. It's not a hollow block wall. And you're going to be drilling a little bit longer. If you don't blow out the dust as you're driving in the screw it's going to be pushing the breed to the back and it could bottom out and then strip the hole. So you don't want to do that. And then finally, something to drive the bolts in. These are, this particular one is a Torx number 25, T25. This one is a Phillips number two. They also have larger ones with Phillips number three for the half inch, I'm sorry, the uh, quarter inch bolts. These three sixteenth ones. This is a one quarter nut driver. It's a nut with a uh, washer. And finally, this these larger ones have, I think, three eighths inch for a, uh, a nut. Yeah. So depending on which fastener you're using, I'm going to be installing uh, furring strips with the number three sixteenths, number two Phillips. Just for demonstration purposes, um, and also brackets. This is brackets for utility shelving. And if you're going to be attaching a two by four, you could use one just like this. You really only need a one inch minimum embedment into brick or other kind of masonry. And if you're if you're installing or mounting a TV on the brick, I recommend you watch my other video on mounting to hollow brick, hollow block wall, which the uh, principles are very similar in which I use just these uh, one quarter inch by one and a quarter Tapcon or off brand, doesn't really matter. Uh, and this held up a TV very well, and I imagine the same would be would be fine in brick. You don't have to go and install something like the uh, 5 16th bolts. And as you can see, a lot of times some kind of hardware, the larger bolts aren't even going to fit. I'm not even sure this, uh, the quarter inch ones barely fit. Something like that. You could use uh, the 3 16th. This particular one doesn't have a bevel. Sometimes they have a uh, Bevel and the bevel helps with these flat screws, helps hold it in place. All right, let's get to it.
Well, that about covers it. You drill the correct size hole, which is 532nd inch for the 316th inch screws and 316th inch for the quarter inch screws. Blow out the dust, then carefully drive in the screws to hold up whatever it is you're mounting to the bricks. I hope you liked this video. I made several other Tapcon videos and can make more if you want, as Tapcons seem to be pretty popular. So let me know if I can mount them on a different surface or use different types of Tapcons. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like this.